Welcome to another episode. All right, today, there are some goals that I have and that I'm really wanting to try to stick to it as much as possible. Uh, so in this episode, we are gonna be removing some track and removing cork bed. Now, the goal is to remove as much track and as much road bed as we can safely. So that way we can reuse it, the flex track and the cork bed as much as we can. The reason why I'm challenging myself to this goal is because with the recent events that are happening around the world, uh, prices of pretty much everything has gone through the roof. And honestly, when I went to go check the other day on how much it was for flex track and cork bed, I, honestly, my jaw hit the desk. It's at least, I wanna say like almost 300% more than what it was, like, like it was three years ago. I'm really gonna try my best to try to salvage as much of the track and cork bed as I can. The whole reason why that I'm putting myself to this challenge and that I'm really, really trying to go to my best to, to salvage as much track as possible is to save money. So that way we can get this track, we can get Arcadia up and running ASAP as soon as possible. And that's literally my goal, like honestly. I know it's been like around two, three years since uh, we ran some trains and since Arcadia has came down and just putting Arcadia up has like lit a fire under my butt. <laughs> so, and I'm really excited. My kids are even really stoked. We spent the other day, uh, I'll put a video up. We spent the other day just uh, using the, the cattle tracks. We put them together. We ended up making like di different variations of tracks. My kids were having fun with it. My daughter was running her Santa Fe. And you know what, it was, it was a blast. The kids loved it. And you know what, that really warmed my heart. Again, like I've said in the past videos before, this hobby has so much to offer. It's not just running trains. It's, you know, like the mathematics, the, the, the build quality of it. Uh, even as we're, as you know, with our, with our layout, it's, it's pretty high tech, man. You know, with the computers and the, and the microchips and the ECOS too. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that my kids can learn as I'm doing this. And it's just a lot of parenting. Uh, it's a lot of time spent with your kids. That's what I love about it as well. You know, there's my wife, you guys saw, she, she's actually really excited to get into doing some of the landscaping and just getting the truck done. Anyways, I'm ranting here, guys. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, like I said, I'm just really happy that we're getting back into this. So let's go ahead, get into the video, and uh, let's remove some track and remove some cork bed.
I know I, I know this is gonna seem a little overkill, but there's a lot of Elmer's glue residue on top of the cork bed, and I do want to get this off. And I tr I'm trying my best to try to recycle or reuse everything here. Uh, so I'm gonna to try to use my palm sander. Um, this is an older sand, uh, sand disc that I have on here, so it's not really aggressive. Um, so I'm gonna hit it, see what happens, and fingers crossed, you know, it does the job. That actually worked really well and I'm telling you this is like super crazy smooth hit it with the vacuum clean everything up and then we'll try to remove it I think the cork absorbed a lot of the water and the glue mix or at least the glue anyways and by doing so it has kept this shape I was kind of hoping that it might straighten out but I, well maybe, I don't think so. Again, my whole goal for all of this is to try to re reuse what I have. So instead of creating a new diameter or a bigger diameter or turn, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna remove it and shift everything over. So the diameter of the turns are still gonna be the same, just they're just gonna be pushed further back. I think that's probably how I'm gonna have to go, but we'll see when we get there. Until then, let's clean up. So, great news. <laughs> the, the second part of the tracks, we removed as much as we did and we actually came ahead. Uh, I wanna say 75% of the track was uh, salvaged and I wanna say like a good 90% of the roadbed was salvaged as well. Actually, probably 100%, no, 95, it was a little tiny piece. So yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that 95% of the cork bed was salvaged. But the more important part is that now we have a blank canvas. We can get into this laying down the cork bed, laying down the track, and then insert the track over here. Oh, as well as, remember how I was gonna tell you that the other section was gonna be connected to this one right here, over where the fish tank is? So those tracks are not gonna meet up with these tracks. So what I think I'm gonna do, instead of trying to redo this and salvage, instead of redoing uh, the salvaging of the tracks. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I have room to push the, uh, the that section a little bit further So that way I can add another section in between so that way I can Manipulate the track in that section to meet That other section. I don't know if that made any sense. I think by doing that it will save me a lot of time and Hopefully a lot of money and I really don't want to move that around. I hope you enjoy the video if you did, give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps out the video. If this is the kind of thing that you like to see, why don't you go ahead, think about subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified for every time there is a new video. I wanna thank everyone once again for sticking around and also for y'all new subscribers. There's a lot more to come here on, on Acadia. So like I said, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until the next time, stay safe. We'll see you then.